we are now looking at the some of the glorious accessories for the Sega Genesis and <clears throat> there was a ton this is just a small fraction of controllers and hookups and accessories that were made for the system I tried to pull out some of the things that were interesting or um, worth talking about we're gonna start off with the number one accessory that you need to get for your Sega Genesis go get a six button controller yes uh, you know again this is the controller that um, uh, if you have a three button it's great but for any fighters you need a six button controller and I recommend uh, Sega official brand one had a nice d-pad uh, buttons it feel, feels nice in the hands anyways uh, this is a con one accessory to get get this uh, if you're gonna get one accessory for your your Genesis get this enough with that so there's several other accessories that um, are interesting or neat um, for the arcade stick fans Sega six button arcade stick pretty nice stick pretty durable um, I like it it's got a bunch of features on it you got a speed setting uh, you know like I said it, it is a good stick recommend it the other interesting accessory that they made was actually um, about the same price as just going out and buying a Sega Master System but power base converter and what's really cool about it is it actually is an adapter that works on your your Model 1 Sega Genesis uh, it fits nice and snug on a Model 1 that you can play your Master System cards and um, cartridges on it actually plays both uh, both versions anyways pretty nice recommend it uh, now for some of the oddball stuff in the what the heck category uh, Sega released uh, the activator which is pretty much a hexagonal ring uh, that uh, you know you stand in and depending on how you move and turn and kick you're supposedly supposed to control characters on screen well the bottom line is it sucked but as a collector item, it's definitely um, getting harder to find box recommended. There was two um, interesting accessories um, done to simulate, you know, realism, and one was a was a was very similar to kind of what the Wii's done. Um, there was a golf accessory uh, that pretty much simulated uh, real golf, and it worked with a couple games. And they did the same kind of thing with, um, um, there's TV golf and then batter up. And it's a, a baseball a baseball bat that worked with a couple different sports games. Really bizarre. It didn't sell well. It didn't really play well. But again, it kind of really, um, I think, started the ball rolling with, um, you know, virtual reality and really kind of, you know, pioneered uh, some at least the thinking for some of the newer controllers that we see now every system had a gun Sega had two big ones Sega's official one was the Menacer and it was a pistol that had this accessory you could uh, and scope thing and you know had uh, a six game cartridge and obviously it competed with the Super Scope 6 um, I thought they both weren't that great. Um, that is just a priceless picture, by the way, on the screen. Uh, the other one that I liked a lot better, and mostly because the game that it came with was so much better, was Lethal Enforcers. Lethal Enforcers came with a uh, blue gun, and um, obviously the picture is uh, shows somewhat different. But yeah, it was a is a, a pretty good uh, light gun, and I would say my pick for the 16-bit. Um, system if you're gonna get a gun get um, the justifier is what it was called and so uh, there's some other interesting things that came out with some third-party controllers one without a d-pad it's like you can just uh, you just rub your hands on this uh, weird thing um, turbo touch 360 didn't work too great it was kind of uh, gimmicky they made a mouse um, as well with its mouse mat 
for you know the whole whopping you know three or four games in the library that could use it you're probably not going to use that this is a kind of a neat accessory uh there was actually uh a handful of flight sims made for the genesis system and i actually could see this uh controller being used by a couple people that were really into those so definitely um definitely not a bad thing you know definitely afterburner i could see that being a lot of fun as well they made a wireless uh controller not that great but uh definitely interesting now they made two uh player uh four port adapters um <coughs> this is one of them uh this is a team player um and um I, I like this one. Like I said, this is one made by Sega, and so pretty nice, uh, pretty durable. It's it kind of weird. You you plug uh, plug it into both one and two player um, ports. Kind of strange. Some other weird accessories for the what the heck? Yes, it's the Sega Channel. No, you no longer can get the Sega Channel. But anyways. Uh, Kind of a neat accessory that you would stick this in the cartridge port, hook it through your cable, and be able to download uh, games. I have some weird accessories for my Sega channel. Came with some really cool like goodies, and um, just a whole bunch of just promotional stuff about it. I even have a uh, I'm not gonna pull it out, but a Sega channel hat. That's just classically classic and bad all in one the other thing it was actually an accessory for both super nintendo and genesis it's the victor max uh stunt master and essentially what it was was you put on a visor and through a terrible horrific resolution lcd screen try to control um movement with your head and uh, you know this is um I got this uh, from a good friend of mine at a game convention, and uh, this is some weird box that um, a couple people have had. They don't know if it's like a um, a refurbished unit or not, but anyways, it's a pretty terrible device, but pretty unique. It's definitely something cool to have at the collection. You see them every now and then online, but I thought I'd showcase that. And that's an overview of Sega Genesis accessories. Thank you very much.